Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are back in Tacoma Zoo for our next episode in the Tacoma Zoo series. Today we're going to be building an awesome wolf habitat. It's realistic, it's natural, it's beautiful, it checks all of the boxes and I'm really excited to share the build with you guys and let's jump right into it into the time lapse portion of the episode uh, right now. All right, everyone, welcome to the time-lapse portion of the episode. We're going to show off the build today. It's pretty big, uh, so there's a lot to show, but I did trim it down quite a bit. So um, if you want to see all of the things done in future episodes, let me know. But I did trim down quite a bit for this episode just in order to keep it sort of short and uh, concise. But we'll see how it all looks in the real-time portion of the video. If you check out the stamps down below, you can skip ahead to that if you don't want to watch all the time-lapse or vice versa. But this is episode 5 of our Tacoma Zoo series. We're going to be doing more in the northern trail area of the zoo. For this episode, we are building a timber wolf habitat. And uh, this is something I wanted to do from the start. I really like building wolf habitats. I've only built like a couple in Planet Zoo, but I really like the aesthetic and you know what you can do with the wolf habitat and things like that. If you've missed any of the other episodes before this one, you can check out the playlist in the description down below. It'll show you the first four episodes of the series so you can watch the zoo um, get built from the ground up and it's a lot of fun to to do it that way if you haven't seen them and we've built some awesome stuff so far and I'm going to continue to build some awesome stuff in the future. So if you haven't checked those out, go check those out right now. Also, if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so down below. Uh, the majority of you who watch these videos do not subscribe and it is completely free. It really does help grow the channel. And I put a lot of work into these videos um, recently and I'm gonna continue to do so. It would just be really appreciated if you would click that subscribe button if you haven't. And those of you that have, I do appreciate it. So for this episode, we are going to be building this cool timber wolf habitat. I had sort of a couple ideas in my head before I jumped into this, and I kind of went on with those from there and improvised the look. But I wanted to do a big habitat, because all the uh, wolf habitats I've ever seen in real life are pretty large, and you don't always see the wolves on the day you go to the zoo. So that's sort of what I wanted to encompass here, um, because the deserve a lot of space, they're pack animals, they cover lots of ground in the wild, so it just makes sense to have a bigger habitat form. And I wanted a big pack, so um, it does sort of constitute doing it like that. But as we saw on the screen a second ago, I was building sort of this uh, cave viewing area. So that was one of the ideas that I had going into this. And I also wanted to make it really wooded and uh, have a lot of areas for the wolves to sort of hide from the guests or just sort of run around in dense foliage because I think that looks awesome. And that's sort of what I wanted to do. So for that, we did the sort of cave viewing where there's a separate viewing area that's sort of in a little rock formation that you can uh, view the wolves in and then we also built this really cool like water feature here it's sort of like a river coming out of a mountain um, it's not super like rapids or rushing or anything but i think it's very aesthetically cool and it looks awesome so uh, it was a big ad and it's a really cool feature that I didn't really plan on doing um, right from the get-go but I think it worked out with just the space after I built it with the terrain and everything and it's just one of those happy little accidents that sometimes happen when you're building in Planet Zoo and just you have a view of the habitat in your head and you just start building and things change and sometimes it's for the better. So really the main components of this habitat and this time lapse, um, even though I trimmed quite a bit of the time lapse, is that we're going to build sort of this little mountain-y sort of terrain feature in the back. Lots of trees, super dense forest, so uh, you have to view from a lot of angles and you don't necessarily get to see the whole habitat from one viewing angle as well. And that's sort of what I wanted to do. I wanted to break up with a lot of patches of trees um, that sort of cut up the habitat. So there's a lot of little trails like within a forest and things like that. So that's sort of view I was going for here. Then I think it turned out well. I used a lot of the aquatic faux rocks in this, I think that's the only rocks I used here in this build, and I think I'm gonna continue that trend in the future. I think the faux rocks just look a lot more like something you would see in a zoo. It just makes sense because a lot of the rocks would be fake in a real zoo. But super happy with how it turned out. We'll check it out in just a moment in the real time walkthrough as the time lapse is sort of 
closing up here right now and uh, just a lot of little sort of natural uh, features a lot of grasses a lot of rocks a lot of trees and just cutting it up making it look like a lush forest and I I'm very happy with how it turned out, as I always say in all of these videos, but this one especially, really proud of the, the habitat here, and let's show it off right now. All right, everybody, welcome back to the real-time first-person walkthrough portion of the video. We're going to start over here at sort of the beginning of the Northern Trail, right by our Butterfly House build. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out in the mini build playlist. Um, this is something we did in a mini build a couple episodes back, but it is not in the Tacoma Zoo episodes, but it is in Tacoma Zoo, so I wanted to show it off here really quick. I did a uh, mini build of this. You can check it out in the description below. I'll have a, pl a playlist to all of the mini builds where you can check out the Butterfly House over there if you haven't, or this little Northern Lodge Grill that we made in the last uh, mini build episode, just to add sort of a... Uh, food area to this northern trail spot but let's get to what we are doing in this episode which is right past the cougar habitat here and that is the timber wolves now this was a super cool and pretty large habitat build um, here we'll start with the uh, cave viewing sort of area and I didn't do an interior in here for the most part because we'll never really go into this area and it's already starting to get a bit framey in the zoo uh, in episode 5 here so I want to start to conserve pieces a little more but the overall concept looks great this little circular viewing area that's sort of in a cave where the guests can sort of look out at to at the wolves um, from an angle that you don't really get from the other viewing spots that we have in this habitat so it's just a cool little thing that we have and uh, we'll go over to the other viewing spots now uh, just this way and I wanted to separate it a little bit I didn't want to put another viewing spot here because you already view a lot so we just had this wall I put some of those wolf pieces on there just to make it a little more interesting uh, staff area that way but here we are with the actual habitat so there's a viewing area here and basically you just walk along here and you can look down into the wolf enclosure from here and we're going to continue out the northern trail area that way and that way as well so this will be more fleshed out in the future but for now we get lots of nice views of the habitat no matter where you are there's a lot of spots um, to see it and I think it just turns out great I'm really happy with how it looks uh, I love the, uh, the timber wolves. I wanted to give them a big area to run around in uh, and have sort of a larger pack. So I think we did accomplish that and it just looks great. I'm really happy with the result of it. We'll step down into the enclosure now. It's pretty big. This water feature here is sort of a stream and things like that. Um, it gets a little framey when you get too close to it, but uh, I do like the amount of detail that we did with that. Adds a little bit to the habitat as well and it's super cool but in here you just kind of get lost in the forest and that's really what i wanted to go for places for the wolves to hide from the guests and it just feels like a natural environment there's little trails in the trees here but uh with enrichment items in them but overall it's pretty covered for the wolves they have places to hide places to run around and different enrichment items in different areas and over here they have their little cave where they can sleep in and I wanted to separate this from the guests give them a little privacy so they don't get too stressed out but we'll hop out into the overview camera and check this out um, overhead and with a bird's eye view of the habitat I think it looks really great I think it's super natural and uh, you know unique I, I really like how it turned out and there's just a lot of places for the wolves to go and run around in they can hide in the foliage Feels like a real forest setting with a little bit of a stream and a little bit of a mountainous vibe if we check out this area as well with the stream and the water feature. It looks great. Also just a nice little area for the guests to sort of view it while walking along the northern trail. We're going to continue uh, more habitats out this way. I think we're going to do some bears and other things like that. Um, but you know just the guests can view them here. The guests can come in and view it here and just a big area sort of for conservation purposes uh, than just a zoo. And the zoos that I've been to that have wolf habitats, they tend to be fairly large and you don't always get to see the wolves um, the day you go because they might be hiding somewhere or hanging out, sleeping uh, in a place you can't see. So that's sort of the idea here. There's a lot of little spots for them to hide from the guests, little trails within the dense foliage of the woods. And I think it just turned out great. 
I'm really happy with it and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, the little unique cave viewing feature here, even if it's not super aesthetically pleasing on the inside, uh, that's more function over form here. Uh, just to save some, some frames as we continue to make this park even larger and larger. All right, folks, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys did enjoy the build. For those who have stuck around to this point in the video, I really do appreciate it. If you guys haven't subscribed down below, please consider doing so. It really helps out the channel. Leave a comment if you got something to say about the build or something you'd like to see in the future. Uh, like the video if you did enjoy it. I'll have more of this content coming soon in the future, along with some other stuff that I'm really excited to show you guys. So stay tuned on the channel for that. But until next episode, I'm McSnazzy, and I'll see you guys next time.